Hey guys and ladies, today is a very sunny and hot day and I have a little free time so I thought it would be a really great opportunity for me to take time to show you all how my 355 watt professionally made solar panels that I purchased from UL Solar almost a year ago just to show you how those are still holding up and I also just want to make sure I'm still receiving the right amount of amps. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so from a distance, they still look like they're in great condition, but looks can be deceiving from afar. So let's just go ahead and climb up the ladder and get a closer look of these. All right, so up close, as we can see, they still look like they're in fairly good condition. However, other than the dirt and the bird mess that I'm seeing that I need to clean off of them, uh, this first solar panel here to the left does seem like some solar cells are, uh, I'm not really sure what the correct terminology is. You probably can see it from the video. It looks like it, some of it is burnt out a little bit if I can just zoom in here. So that's definitely something I probably need to contact UL Solar about, send them some photos in, maybe ask a couple of people some questions about that just to see if that's normal or what causes that. So that solar panel may be going back. <laughs> we don't know yet. So in a way, everything else seems to be uh, holding up fairly well, especially the silicon that I put down here. And yeah, I probably will be producing a video later uh, showing you how to clean these solar panels. And in a way, uh, as I said before, looks can be deceiving. So let's go inside just to see if I am still getting the correct amperage. Should be getting around 9.3 amps on average. So I picked the right time of the day to do this. Definitely needed it to be direct sunlight on these solar panels. So let's go ahead and go inside. All right, so here we are inside. As you can see, I still have my Morningstar ProStar 30 charge controller. And it's still working fine, which is a plus. And... What I have here is just my solar connections I already pulled out just to make this a little easier for filming. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just stick one connection from my multimeter to the positive side. And here's the negative side. So now I'm just going to bring up my multimeter so you can see it. And let's just see how many amps I'm getting here. So right now it's off. Uh, what I've found from uh, doing this test so far, because this multimeter can only read up to 10 amps, is uh, I've been getting more than 10 amps. So that's a good thing. Like I said, I should be getting uh, 9.3 amps on average. It's a lot of clouds in the sky, so as you can see, the, the values are fluctuating up and down. But I'm hoping it'll at least get over 9.3, as you can see, and it almost uh, it just reached 10, so it just went off. So that's just to protect this multimeter. So basically, uh, everything that I'm saying now is good. It's a good thing that uh, it is getting over the average. So that is telling me that the solar panels are still working as they should. I still want to get that one on the left checked out. Um, anyway, so this test has passed. It's good. It's almost been a year now. These solar panels are still outputting the right power that it should be. All right, so as I said before, soon I will be showing you a method that I found online as far as how to clean the surface area of your solar panel as that can affect the power that you're receiving. So it has been fun. It's great that everything is working fine. Again, I am going to have to check out that left solar panel. But other than that, uh, I am still a happy customer here. So Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.